Soothing southern landscapes, glistening sun-drenched beaches. Such attention to detail in these oil paintings must have been produced by an artist with many years of training. So you might be shocked to learn that these are all the works of a recluse engineer named Laurent S. Smith. He was a self-taught artist who painted purely for enjoyment and his own education. In 1969, he retired to Bay St. Louis to fish and paint. Um, as an artist, you know, he really worked in this very hyper-realistic style, um, showing every kind of detail and nuance uh, of the scenes that he created. It's just really fabulous work. He loved the South. And uh, like I say, the bulk of the work is from here uh, on the Mississippi coast and southern Louisiana. Uh, little, with, with a few pieces from places like the Carolinas and Florida and Texas. He liked rural, uh, small town scenes. Here in the Bay, he had the luxury of making short trips, like he might go to a subject in the morning and take a couple of photos and take some notes, and maybe a little bit of sketching, and, and then come back later in the day. So he would do quite a bit of study before he decided what time of the day he wanted to actually uh, paint the piece. As Laurent and his wife's health began to decline, their son Spencer moved to Bay St. Louis to care for his aging parents. But much too soon, tragedy struck. They both passed away within five weeks of each other. That was devastating for me. And then right about the time I was starting to recover from the loss Katrina hit. With the massive storm approaching, Spencer had to make a quick decision. Leave the more than 120 pieces of his father's fine art, or stay and try to protect the work at the family home. Well, you know, if I stay here, when a tree gets embedded in one part of the house, I can move everything out of that room before the water hits it into a, a, a drier area and I can just actually move stuff around to avoid damage from the storm. The edge of one of the eye walls hit my house. I could no longer see outside. It looked like fog. Actually, this is a uh, uh, wind-blown water at maybe 140, 150 miles an hour. It was like a mist. Uh, the wind was starting to shake the walls of the house. I was afraid the entire structure was going to collapse, so I retreated underneath the stairs. I went into the shop portion of the house, which is the house is on three levels, and this is the very lowest section. I went in there with a mop to mop up in there. I looked out the window and I saw a wall of water about six feet deep tearing down the street toward the house. I said, well, this isn't deep enough to drown me, but it's sure going to make a mess out of things. And uh, from that point, I immediately jumped on the art and started bringing the art up the stairs, up and down, up and down, uh, carrying as many as four pieces at a time. Ninety-eight percent of the art was rescued, but three years after the storm, the artwork is still in that upstairs bedroom. Today, Spencer struggles to rebuild his life, his home, and still seeks recognition for his father's beautiful works of art. I'd like for people to be able to see this work because it did preserve a lot of memories here of what we had on the coast prior to Katrina. Places like Pass Christiane's picturesque downtown. Mm -hmm. 
or the stately Elmwood Manor in Bay St. Louis. Once a, a piece of art is sold, it goes into a home, generally a living room, possibly a dining room or, or bedroom, and at that point only the immediate family and their friends get to view this art. I want to give this art a chance for people to really see it and enjoy it. Since Hurricane Katrina, you know, museums and galleries, um, both private and public, have really suffered. And a lot of them are coming back, and they're coming back, you know, with a vengeance and doing a fabulous job. But it's still a hard road to hoe, and we need to support um, these galleries, whether they be public or private galleries, and really help the arts to thrive in our community because it's a very important aspect um, and support for the community at large. Rescuing uh, any type of property or home, it's really not worth putting your life at risk. I mean, I'm proud that I rescued this art collection. I was here, it was a blessing that I was able to do it. But it was an unwise decision to stay. I think that this work is incredibly important to the Gulf Coast, especially now since we've lost so much artwork and the fact that his son was able to save it and preserve it for us and for future generations. It's really, you know, very important today that what we have left and what survived the storm, that we really focus on preserving it and allowing it to be there for generation after generation. For a copy of this program, call 601-432-6294 or send a check or money order for $14.95 to Mississippi Public Broadcasting, 3825 Ridgewood Road, Jackson, Mississippi, 39211. Please indicate the name and date of the program.